Hey guys, what's up? I have a gun review here for you today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's on the Mossberg 500 Field Combo Shotgun. I've had this shotgun close to a year now, for close to a year now, and so far it's been very uh, reliable for me. It, you know, does the job for me, and what I mostly use it for is uh, target shooting, uh, which is just, you know, shooting clay pigeons, paper targets, and things like that. And I also have been using it for hunting. Uh, I recently went duck hunting. Um, at the beginning of the season, I went uh, dove hunting, then duck hunting, and then uh, I'll be going uh, goose hunting here uh, in a few days. So, anyway, uh, like I said, it's a field combo, so that means it comes with two barrels. It comes with a 18-inch barrel here. And it comes with a 28 inch barrel as well, which I have it set up for now since I'm going uh, goose hunting. And um, uh, let's see, I bought this at a Big Five sporting goods store for close to 320 bucks. It was on sale. And this also, this setup here also comes in a camouflage version, which my uh, friend bought. And so far, his uh, shotgun is working great for him as well. He just has the camouflage version. Here's the sling. I made this sling here out of paracord, if you guys are interested. Um, not a hard project to do. A lot of videos on the internet on how to make your own paracord sling. So, uh, uh, anyway, not a bad setup at all. I'm going to show you guys how to swap barrels here. So all you do uh, is close your action halfway like that and then go down here and take the sling off be easier like that and then you can unscrew it here then once you unscrew it enough it just pops right out like that there is the 28 inch barrel there you guys a close up. Okay, set that aside. Put that right there for now. Grab your 18 inch barrel. Let's say you just went out hunting, came back, cleaned up, cleaned up your uh, shotgun and now you want to Throw on your 18 inch barrel for home defense. All you do is put it in there, give it a little wiggle, that's what I do. And then, sorry guys, it's kind of hard to do and find the camera. And then you screw it back down like that. Pretty snug. That's good enough. And you are good to go. And, um, let's see here take off this sling. Here's the other sling attachment right here. Take this off here. Okay, and here's the sling I made for it. Pretty cool. All out of paracord. Here's the shoulder part and the rest here okay so here is the setup with the 18 inch barrel um, as you can see you can see the uh, the coating or the bluing has come off here where the forearm is um, doesn't really bother me it's not a big deal I think it looks cool um, and uh, yeah, when I keep it, when I'm at home, I usually keep the 18 inch barrel uh, on it. And then when I go hunting, I'll throw on the 28 inch barrel. Uh, I don't know if I give you guys a close up of the lettering there. But you can pause the video if you want and take a look at that. So anyway, um, no issues with it. Uh, I've never had it. Uh, jam on me or anything like that some problems I had a few problems with rust which 
it's not a big deal I just have to do a better job of um, oiling it it's right in here where you can screw in your sling attachment um, I sort of forget to put oil in there so rust will build up down in there in the threads and uh, that's the only uh, part where I've seen uh, rust but yeah uh, not a bad setup uh, as you can see the scratches on the buttstock here that's from just um, hunting uh, you know resting it on uh, my pack and the buttstock here is on dirt or grass but not a big deal uh, the butt pad here is starting to sh uh, show some wear. I think it's starting to come uh, uh, loose from the butt stock there. But not bad at all. The forearm here, this might be a, a big deal for some of you. The forearm does rattle a bit, but for me it's not a huge issue. It was annoying at first, I'll admit, but after a while I just don't really care. It, it works okay there's your safety on and off or on and off fire and safe and um, so far not a bad setup I really like it it's done the job um, it's really fun to shoot with the 18 inch barrel on it and um, the uh, 28 inch barrel has these two uh, nice beads here one here and one here to help you uh, straighten out your barrel and help you aim better so so far great setup really like it and uh, overall uh, a great shotgun I'd say even for a beginner I think it would be a, a great setup here and I believe you can throw on a Picatinny rail for a scope on here um, but uh, not a hundred percent sure but it does look like you can do so right there so there you guys go my first gun review let me know what you guys think I hope you guys liked it uh, I hope it was helpful helpful for you so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave one down below and as always guys thanks for watching and subscribing I greatly appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one